Right, I'm going to be doing an experiment over the next few months. Basically, I'm going to be using my uh, muscle stim, my neuromuscular electrical stimulator, my complex unit. Uh, the plan is to basically scrap all weight training completely um, and simply use this on its own. Now, I've devised an entire periodized plan where I'm increasing in terms of volume and uh, I've given it a little bit of an experiment. And in truth, at first I thought, well, taking the weights out without the mechanical tension doesn't seem to get much in the metabolite way, but obviously it's very eccentrically overloading. So obviously it gives you a lot of uh, a lot of DOMS, a lot of uh, muscle damage, which obviously is a trigger for, for building muscle. So, um, so yeah, so I did a little experiment this week, first half of the week. I did my normal sort of split in terms of, I probably did about eight muscle groups uh, in each session, and then obviously different split on each one. Uh, I got to uh, the second day, and uh, I'd only done 15 cycle revolutions, which is, has a contraction phase for a few seconds. You move, I'm basically moving through range. So for example, if it's biceps, then I'm taking biceps into full shortened position. It contracts, take it out all the way through range to end of range, full length and position, and then repeat. Normally get about two of them repetitions, just moving through range within a contraction phase. Then a rest for the relaxation phase and then it's another few seconds again and then I go again. So I did 15 of them, just 15. Next day, I was sore everywhere and biceps especially. In fact, biceps were so sore uh, and so much DOMS that they were even swollen by a whole inch bigger than normal uh, with cellular swelling. So uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, 15 is too much. So what I've decided to do is take the rest of this week off training. I've now got a three week period as of starting next week. Uh, before I go on holiday, I'll deload for that week. So the plan is to do three weeks uh, of increasing volume uh, on the, on that split. So six sessions a week using just the muscle stem, not a weight in sight, no other training, no other sport, nothing at all. And then basically uh, do that four times through. That's the plan anyway. Uh, and obviously I'm hoping that I've pitched it at the right level for next week. So I'm obviously gonna see how the DOMS goes. Uh, I mean, I haven't done DOMS like this um, for a long, long time. And it isn't even that taxing. I mean, there's no cardiovascular kind of taxation to it. It doesn't make you feel fatigued. I could have done 50 million times more rep repetitions with, with no real effort. And yet the DOMS was still through the roof. So I think that's the key thing I've learned is I'm gonna pitch it now at five. Uh, and then I'm gonna see how it goes. And if five seems to get me some DOMS, but not too severe, then I might consider upping it to maybe 10 for the week after. And then depending on that goes maybe 15 for the week after. Which also means when I have the deload, I'll probably come in maybe slightly higher than uh, the first one. I might start at 10, then 15, then maybe 20, and so on and so on as, as I go through. What I've done is to measure uh, my response to the training is I've decided, because I'm doing it for muscle building, is I've taken circumference measurements. Uh, so I basically measured neck, chest, uh, waist around the navel. I've measured upper arm, forearm, calves, thighs. Uh, so I've got a baseline measurement uh, at the beginning. Hence why I know my biceps swelled up to an inch bigger uh, the other day. So basically, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put all my measurements on now so you can have a little look. Uh, but basically the key is to see how I go um, over this next three to four months. So three to four months with no weight training, simply moving each muscle uh, or muscle group through shortened position to full extended position, which is amazing really because usually you can't do that with certain muscles. There's no exercise where you can take full contraction uh, of muscle and, and loading from a full shortened position to a full lengthened position. There isn't really an exercise because of gravity or the curve on the machine or whatever. It doesn't quite give you that full range. Uh, in, in a lot of muscles. Uh, so yeah, so I've basically uh, devised each movement based on the muscle to go through full range of motion. Uh, so I'm getting all that eccentric overload. So basically, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Uh, I might do an update every so often, but the main one is obviously at the end where I'll do my uh, measurements again and we'll see if I've got any, any more muscle size. Uh, I mean, it'd be really interesting as well because not just from a muscle stim perspective with regards to you know how uh, how effective that is but it also tell us a little bit about the muscle damage effect you know how much is muscle damage uh, important in muscle growth because there's a lot of debate there so obviously we know mechanical tension time under tension we know that metabolites 
Uh, and obviously we know that um, eccentric and muscle damage is obviously key as well, but we just don't know the proportions. Some people debate that muscle damage could actually be a byproduct. Uh, obviously this is gonna tell us that because in truth, the tension's not that high. I mean, I'm moving through range pretty, pretty comfortably. Uh, obviously I'm not taking any load in, in the sense of the word and there's no metabolite effect. I get no fatigue from it. I feel fine apart from obviously the DOMS. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's very interesting. So I'm really excited to see what happens. I would use the muscle stem a lot with patients anyway, because you can keep loads low on joints while training muscles and rehabbing people up to full function again. So be interesting, obviously on the context of building muscle. Uh, so yeah, that's all. I'll see you when I see you. We want to keep making great content for our subscribers. So if anyone would like to support the channel by making a pledge, then we would be extremely grateful. And you can do this on our Patreon page here. <laughs>